Did you ever want to try a fun fashion color like blue or pink or purple or even green, but thought they were only for the young? Well, I have a super easy method to create a wig in whatever fashion color you want, but that also looks like you. Keep watching to see how I got this gorgeous steel blue beauty. Hi, I'm Christine, and I'm on a campaign to make wig wearing more mainstream so we can express ourselves however we want without people looking at us sideways just because we're wearing a wig. For practical tips on choosing and wearing wigs, wig reviews, as well as some creative inspiration, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Also, uh, hit the like button because the YouTube algorithm really likes that. Hi, this is Paula Young's Angel in Soft Pewter, and this is the wig that I will be dyeing that beautiful shade of gray-blue. Now, I've used this method on wigs for myself and wigs for my friends, so I know it works. And these are great, fun wigs to try out uh, if you're going to anything with a party atmosphere. I do a lot of fan conventions, so I always wear my colored wigs at fan conventions, Renaissance fair, music concerts, really anything that's super fun. It also allows us to wear those fun fashion colors in our own way that is still us, or is still you or still me, but not trying to be a 25 year old. And even though the wig you saw at the beginning is blue, it doesn't look like a cosplay wig or a Halloween wig. It looks like I colored my own hair blue. Now the really strange thing is because I have a cool skin undertone and blue eyes, I think blue is one of the fla most flattering colors I ever wear. And if you try a blue or a purple or a pink or a green, you may find the same thing. Now, when I do this, when I make wigs in fashion colors, I usually use Polly Young wigs because they are absolutely wearable, but they're also very affordable. So when you're doing this, you don't feel like if you screw it up, you will have ruined a $200 wig. Now, if you're not using this exact wig, which is Angel from Paula Young in the color Soft Pewter, you need a wig that is silver gray and rooted. The rooted part just means that the roots are darker as your bio hair would be, which is important if you want to get the look that you just dyed your own natural hair blue rather than that you are wearing a cosplay wig. The reason that it's gray rather than a rooted blonde is because I like to keep the colors dusty and muted. And the gray is neutral enough to do that without affecting the color you're going to get. If you used a blonde rooted wig, that golden in the blonde would affect, uh, like instead of a blue, you might get a blue green. It may sound complicated, but just stick with the gray rooted wigs and you'll be fine. Now, a couple of things to remember with this method. First, this is a synthetic wig. This only works on synthetic wigs, not human hair wigs. Also remember that any dye method, including the one I'm using with the alcohol and ink, cannot make anything lighter. It can only make it darker, which is another reason I use the rooted wigs because it doesn't affect the color of the darker root, only the lighter highlighted parts. Now, you can see that this shade, Soft Pewter, is, is rooted, but it is also uh, has these silver and white highlights, which will add dimension to the color because the dye will take slightly differently on each base color. Now, let's go over to the sink and let's do the deed. I'm wearing latex gloves. For supplies, you need a medium-sized bowl. The actual dye ingredients are 16 ounces of 70% isopropyl alcohol. You will need an acrylic ink. Uh, I buy the Daler Romney FW Acrylic Water Resistant Artist, 
Artists Inc. is the proper name. Um, and for this, I'm using Indigo, which is my favorite blue to get that blue steel color. You put, put your bowl in the sink and pour the entire 16 ounce bottle in slowly to avoid splashing because it is really splashy. Um, isopropyl alcohol does have chemical vapors, so have your windows open uh, as you would using any chemical. Next, you just pour the ink in. I shake it up a little bit because sometimes the color can settle to the bottom. Uh, just pour the entire bottle of ink in. The entire bottle of ink with this mixture will get you this dark uh, gray-blue color. Uh, swish it around a little bit, and then here goes the wig, right into the alcohol ink mix. Now the wig takes the color almost instantly, but I usually soak it about 15 minutes um, just to make sure that the hair is really, really saturated and I'm getting the richest color possible. And I move it around, swish it around a little bit with these tongs, uh, just to make sure the entire wig is submerged at some point. After it's soaked for about 15 minutes, gently squeeze out the mixture. You never want to wring a wig. They're too delicate and expensive. So just gently squeeze out the mixture um, down the wig. Uh, you don't want to be too rough. Then I take the squeezed out wig and I roll it up into my towel and squeeze some more and that will get most of your excess moisture out without harming the wig. Then I sit a styrofoam head on top of the towel. Now you don't have to have the styrofoam head, it's just helpful and it's only a couple dollars at an arts and crafts or beauty supply store. Uh, and I do this because the wig is still going to drip uh, some of the mixture off. Gently put the wig on the head or wherever you're going to sit it and don't brush it. You never brush a wet wig. And now you just let it dry overnight. The last step isn't absolutely necessary, but it gives me an extra level of security that the color isn't going to run if you're caught out in the rain. Just rinse the wig in cold water until it runs clear. Again, not wringing uh, or being rough with it. Uh, just either rinse it under the tap in cold water or put a big bowl of cold water and just swish it around a little bit. And then you let it dry again, and that is your finished wig. And here is our finished wig. It's a gorgeous, dusty blue steel color that doesn't look like an anime character. It looks like I just happened to dye my hair blue. But because it's a wig, it's full of body and fullness that I could never get with my bio hair. Here is a close-up of that beautiful blue color. You can see, because it's rooted, it's got that natural look, darker at the roots. Now, I want to reiterate a few things. First of all, this is an alcohol ink method that only works on synthetic wigs. Do not try this on human hair wigs. Now the amount of alcohol and ink that I used is based on a short or shorter wig, this length or shorter. If you wanna go longer, just double both the alcohol and the ink. Finally, make sure you wear gloves because the ink will stain your hands. Um, cover your surrounding surfaces with a dark towel because the ink can stain certain surfaces. And open windows uh, because you don't want to work in a closed area with alcohol vapors. If you do try this method, please let me know in the comments below how it turns out for you. And send me pictures. Post pictures below. I want to see what you did. Or do you have another method you use to dye wigs fashion colors? For more content like this, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button to leave a comment because all that helps YouTube to decide to show my videos to more people, which is the best way I can get the word out that wigs are one more easy but powerful way to express yourself.